Hello, everyone. RPG can can hear back with more. Eighty-seven uh, percent, sweet. Uh, near replicant. In the previous video, we wrapped up the Law of Robotics story quest and learned that Gideon is a fucking psychopath. So that's awesome. Yeah. No. Okay, so it's time for us to go to Force Myth finally, and now we'll be able to do this child's final final chance and do some more quests that will probably unlock as a result of that. So that's good. And um, hopefully, I don't know how many more quests are will be left. Uh, there might actually be more quests available to us now since we finished up that um, that mission uh, with the Law of Robotics. But for now, we're going to the Forest of Myth to get the Great Oak. Uh, Keith, which I believe is what it was. So let us go. Broken pottery. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to go around. I'll probably just go around buy the materials that I need. Cause I, a, I have so much money. So I'll just go around buy like 99 of everything. You know, I don't think I need 99 crystals, but still. Oh, that's a tall boy. And he dropped the recovery potion. Sweet. Yeah, I'm just killing these shades, because why not? Okay, now let's go kill... That door, because I'm the only one that can kill the boy. Alright, back to the Force of Myth we go! Huzzah! Time to go back into the death dream! unusual is happening? Well, I have been feeling a rather strange presence whenever I visit the Divine Tree. The Divine Tree? It's a legendary tree that exists in the heart of our village. Did you investigate the cause of this presence? Not really, no. And why not? Well, you're not really supposed to go near the tree, except for prayer. 
And why is that? I don't know. It's just how things have always been. Something straight that reminds. Wait, what? I didn't. Shit. Therefore, so as a pretense for. fact furthermore oh such a fascinating tale you being serious of course not I saw a child a while back. I think he was playing over by the divine tree. See yep. A forest curse. Oh, come now. You know there's no such thing. Oh, if that's what happened, I suppose curse might be an appropriate thing to call it. Everything seems normal here. We appear to have hit a dead end. Say, what is that on the ground? Looking berries. Ah, poisonous ones, I'd wager. Well, I'm sure not gonna eat them and find out. Hmm. Why do we seem to encounter nothing but odd people lately? You should talk, Vice. <laughs> As if Grimoire Vice is capable of spouting such nonsense. Hang on. I don't think it's done. Does that mean it'll tell us what we want to know? That'd be nice. Here we go again! Black, pure darkness, painted over everything. Words, scattered here and there across the blackness. Kind words, difficult words, amorous words, all speaking in the dark just like jewels. The words were few now, but time was shorter. Grabbing the words in desperation, the tree turned to the sky. This is wrong, whispered the tree in the voice of wind through the leaves. This is not how it was supposed to be. The plan has failed. Once long ago, the tree had remembered everything about the world. This was its task, its function, its purpose. It shivered with something approaching joy as it collected the memories of mankind. This was no accident. Emotions was as much as part of the tree as root and bark. Memories collected like dew on the thick green leaves of the tree. And once they had formed a web that spanned the entire world, words collapsed into the sunlight before passing through the leaves into the pool of memory. From the pool, the words joined together to form colonies. The colonies united into whirlpools of light, and the light con con concealed into stars. Each star was like a child of the tree, and it loved them all. Look at my memory. A child is here, brought low by disease. He is far too young to have suffered so. Thine, thine beyond words, the boy's skin is a shade paler than the bleached sheets upon which he lies. His parents no longer visit him, for they cannot bear to watch him suffer. The doctors have long since surrendered his fate to the gods. The boy, too, has abandoned hope. Strange emotions, weariness, hatred swell within the dark recesses of his young heart. He tries to reject the black terror that grimaces his in his that germinates in his body but no amount of effort or tears can drive the invader away he has long ceased to re reset his parents and doctors to resent once he did but now his pain is so great that there is little room for his heart to think of others remind you of anything only one person bring this boy comfort a healthy young girl with tan skin and deep brown eyes 
She is a beacon of brightness and light in the boy's world. Her very presence is, to comfort, is a comfort to him, but he is unable to look upon her face. Whenever they met, the boy is filled with loathing for his own state. Soon this loathing eats away at what joy he receives from the girl's visits. The girl will stop coming. He knows this. His every waking moment is spent in fear of this day. He thinks that if he could talk to her, if he could tell her of his feelings, this might not be so, but this conversation never happens. The girl disappears. The boy dies alone. The tree scoops up his memory and carefully stows it within himself, etching upon it in a single word, envy. Look at my memory. There's a female warrior. Her greatest enemy is a beast with red eyes that she cannot fully comprehend. When she strikes it with her sword, it turns into a pillar of salt and dies. But when the white smoke clears, a new enemy rises, and another, and another. The warrior knows that her struggle is folly, but finding the unending stream of enemies fills her with a sense of joy and purpose. Somewhere deep in the warrior's drug-ailed mind lies a vague memory of a daughter. Perhaps the child exists only in her head, dying remnants of a powerful dream she does not know. Her friends and fellow warriors come and go. Some flee in terror. Some are eaten. She began the fight with 23 companions, but most are gone now. The, warrior bod the warrior's body shudders. She does not understand why at first. By the time she hears the, f hears the fierce low sound, the area is already enclosed in darkness. Looking up, the warrior sees a beast so large that it bl blots out the sky. She is laughing. She has been doing so for so long she cannot, as she can remember. Covered in blood and dirt, the warrior laughs. She laughs and laughs until the town that contains her daughter collapses into a pile of dust. This memory has been stored for so long it is etched with the single word, loss. Look at my memory. Where a dragon falls from the heavens. Ah, oh, that memory has been lost. A shame. It was a favor to mine. I think this is back to Drakengard. I, I like these. I think these are all hints at previous entities or entries of this entire series. Dra either Drakengard or some other Yokotaro work that happened before Nier. At the memory centuries of existence, the tree saw that its carefully labeled memories were beginning to dwindle. Once seemingly infinite, the memories now seemed ready to disappear forever. The tree did not feel sadness at this. Grief was an emotion beyond its comprehension. It did, however, have the distinct feeling that something was missing. The mountain of memories it had so carefully assembled had disappeared. The tree stretched its branch as far as it could, but new memories refused to flow. Flow of memories was a black, empty pit, a hollow place where life had once flourished. I love the music that's playing too. Uh, the tree had lost its purpose. There was nothing to be done but, shi but shift through the few remaining memories littering the ground under its branches. This is the way. This is why the tree was pleased when the young man and his companion entered the room. Well, this place is gloomy as hell. The room near had entered was almost completely empty. All he could see were a few crystals scattered ha haphazardly on the ground. Picking up one of the crystals and peering into it, Nier suddenly saw a familiar sight. It was a forest of myth, its villagers prisoners of their own dreams. I apologize, Tree thought. That is all that remains. As Nier stared at the jewel, bewildered, a voice suddenly called out from the depths of his mind. The voice implored them to listen. <sighs> But, uh, it was an order. Following it was mandatory. Abruptly, the pair realized that they must listen. They must listen. Look there. A small, shadowy presence appeared from beneath the floor. It appeared to be a shade. Shade grasped several jewels in the hands. More jewels trembled out of its mouth like sharps, like shards of broken teeth. Sights and sounds tingling from each one before vanishing forever. The creature was abusing the memories, treating the precious objects like a collection of cheap playroom toys. And this shade appears to be consuming the memories. These things eat memories? The tree extended branch towards Nier. Without a second thought, Nier brought his blade down the shade, tearing its stomach wide. Jewels burst from the shade and poured it across the chamber floor. Look, thought the tree, there is the conviction memory I had lost and satisfaction, and many others as well. Yes, this is good. The tree opened its mouth and attempted to speak, but no sound emerged. A millennium of silence and solitude had caused the tree to forget certain things. 
But rather than be upset, he greeted the dev development with good cheer. Focusing all his power on the riddle of speech, the tree formed a kind of makeshift vocal cord and tried again. Um, I implore. <laughs> Spat out a glimmering green jewel. Hmm? One more time. I implore you. There we are. What was the color of the lost envy? Ah, you let it slip through your fingers. Come on, we have to go back to that stupid... Shoot. Shoot, okay. Book. This shade was as intelligence and emotions. Who cares. He never brushed twice his comments aside to his sword, sliced through the shade's right arm. She extended its remaining arm to the ear. I must touch him. I must make contact. While his fingers brushed against the ear, the tree felt a warm sensation begin to burn. Something hot coursed through its fingers, but up its arm and out of its entire body. It was emotion, more than the entirety had felt in centuries. The tree cried out in surprising joy. One thousand years alone, one thousand years in quiet contemplation. The tree felt like it was going to break apart. For long centuries, the tree had been alone. The heart felt sealed with heavy chains, but no more. New, powerful emotions began to take hold, causing its heart to lighten. This was more than the simple emotion had been designed to feel. It was the beginning of a soul. And the young man was the key. This was the promise made long ago. This was how it was to be released. The tree's stomach began to throb in pain, a new and unpleasant a sensation. The time was not yet right. I implore you, how many were lost by the warrior who who fought the red-eyed beast? Her daughter and twenty-three friends. <sighs> what? You let it slip through. Come on, we. Yeah, it was twenty-three. A vague memory of a daughter. Yeah, 23. She began five of 23 companions, but most are gone now. Blue. Uh, what? You let it come up. They changed the color? I saw the number 63. Uh, what the fuck? Are they changing the everything? Attention. They change it every single time? Look at my memory. Okay. Black terror that glimpses by. Green eyes. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's green eyes. Twenty three. And then it was a red dragon. Uh, 
Okay, real time is over. I'm gonna kill this stupid shade once for all. Something round and shiny fell from the open stomach and clattered to the floor. The key, cried the book. Secure the key. The man's sword slowed. Time began to dilute around them. Stretching and slowing, time is essential. The next word must be heard. The word to explode. It became diff difficult to discern their meaning. The pool of memories began to crack as infinite blackness burrowed its way into the wall. Place. This world is falling apart. Here, how can a world of letters? I implore. Most important thing. World. Yona. Yona. The light was complete. The memories disappeared. The tree's identity began to dissolve. As the light slowly faded, Nier was drawn back to the real world. And the tree was satisfied. What in the... I never realized shades were capable of rational thought. I don't care if they can tap dance and play the fiddle. I just want to kill them without all this hassle. With the tree defeated, we no longer have to worry about being buried in its world of letters. Unless, of course, time itself begins to rewind. Okay, got the memory key. key. Now all that's left is the sacrifice one. Maybe Popol has found some information about the Shadow Lord. Let's drop by the village. Very well. Yes, we're gonna head to the village. I'm gonna hand in this uh, quest. Okay, hold on, let me just make sure. They have something to do with this illness. Should I talk to someone else then? The strange prep, but it made me think. I mean, why are we worshiping a tree? Oh, that reminds me. Sure, let's listen to this again. Shadow Lord's castle? You're talking anyway enough of your madness. On that very day. Even after. Well, uh, at least they were through. Quiet. Unusual activity? Here? No, I don't think so. But I do have an incredible story for you. Want to hear it? I'm not going to be rude. It was. However, meanwhile, my wife was. And the dismembered corpse had. The real culprit was. Can you believe it? It's quite the story. I wonder how it's going to end. I'm impressed. Much of the story has been hidden from us. Yet you seem to grasp it. Yeah, but I still don't know how it's going to end. This place fu is fucking weird. You guys solved the mystery yet? No, we got nothing. Too bad. Hey, what's with those berries? What, oh. these? We picked them up over by that huge tree. I thought maybe... Gimme, I'm starving. Are you mad? Those berries are clearly poisonous. Even one such as you can't hope to... Damn, these are delicious. Gimme more. Well, in that case, I suppose I should try one. Ha <laughs> ha 
Ah, nice. Blech. Oh, I think Vice was right about those berries. Feels like somebody stabbed me in the gut. Hey, w what's wrong? Oh no, D don't tell me you ate one of those berries. For the love of trees, those things are deadly. Quick, take this antidote before you perish. Blech. Five minutes later. <sighs> Thought I was a goner there. Are you an idiot? Didn't you see the lumps? The unusual colors? Only a child would attempt to eat something like that. A child? Oh, crap. I, I bet that kid ate one of these berries. Yes, quite possibly. And if the poison is this painful for you, I can only imagine what it would do to a small child. Hey, Connie, did you take the antidote? Don't need it. God, those berries were amazing. The truly amazing thing is that your stomach is fouler <laughs> than your taste in clothing. If you had genitals, I would so chop them off right now. <laughs> yeah, genitals, I so would have chopped them off by now. Again, I feel like Laura, Laura Bailey had a fucking blast voicing Kaine. At least I hope she did. I hope everyone had a blast voicing Ugh, characters in these this games. This poison sucks. Still can't feel my arms and legs. I feel great. Man, you must have a cast iron stomach, Kaine. The hussy's internal organs are as filthy as her mouth. Why do you have to be such a shithead all the time, book? Is it because of how she's dressed? Come on, Vice. Don't be an asshole like that. <laughs> Damn, these berries are delicious. Huh, I should try one too then. Blech. Wasted. I might go around and see if there's any other side quest happening to you before I talk to Popola. Why you always gotta be a shithead? Cool. She's right. She's right, Vice. Why do you have to always be a shithead? Let's see if these flowers are dead. I honestly don't know how long these flowers have been up for. Apparently, there is a way. Like you could somewhat cheat this in a way. Is like you just move to like different time zones, and that would like count of you know you changing them and such. Nope, they're still all healthy and hearty. That's fine. So what I'm probably going to do is, however many seeds that thing's giving me, I'm going to plant one row, all of them. Hopefully they give me at least five. Then I'll plant another row of the red uh, indigo and red and indigo. Actually, I might as well do two. Oh, no, then I'll do a red and gold so I can get the peach one. So then I can make the... Um, other uh, one that I need. Now right, let's see if there's any si side quest. And plus, we gotta hand this one side quest in, which would hopefully. 87. How many more is this gonna give me? Well, it looks like Devil does have one for us, unless this is it right here. Ma'am? Oh, I no. think your child ate a poison berry. If you give him this antidote, he should recover. He's already dead. Oh, thank you. I'll have him take it right away. Glad to hear it. And perhaps remind him not to eat foodstuffs he finds on the ground. 10,000. It's a good amount. The shades make it a... Hey, you don't happen to know where my boyfriend is, do you? Sorry, lady. No idea. Right. Of course you don't. I'm so silly Oh, I should have saw how much percentage that took. See, my boyfriend just up and vanished five years ago. 
I keep waiting for him, but I have no idea where he went or if he's even... Hey, wait. You're that kid who does whatever people ask him to do, right? Well then, go find my boyfriend. Well, people usually ask nicely. Then I have no idea what your boyfriend looks like, much less where to find him. Well, he always wears this flashy gold necklace, so maybe you can start there. And so we find ourselves off on a hunt for a man with a golden necklace. Not exactly the strongest of possible leads. Right about that. Wow, that only did 1%. Okay, well, it looks like Devila has more quests for us, which is fine. Hmm. Which job should I give you first? A memorial Seems there's night. a man looking for a rather unique piece of cutlery. He says he'll pay whatever it takes. Ooh, how exciting. This isn't Seafront. I wrote down the client. It's in Seafront. All right, um... Someone with the gold necklace, eh? Oh, there's something up here. Damn it, I was like, it better not be a fucking medical herb, because I swear to God, that's fucking suck, and boy, how did it fucking suck. Okay, well, I have a feeling... That's the dude I'm looking for. It's probably not going to be in town here. Oh, you. Yeah. Oh, you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of busy right now. Welcome. Do you have any more weapons? You do not. Blacksmiths you always do dead well. to me. Oh. Well, okay, we can continue on. Sure that guy will have some answers for us. Oh, sure guy with the necklace? I don't know where he is now, but I've heard some pretty sordid tales about him. Like what exactly? Oh sure, the guy. I might as well go on the other post. Oh, it's you, eh? Damn it! Stop all being medical herbs. Guy with the gold necklace, eh? Yeah, I heard some folks saw him heading for the forest of myth. The forest of myth, huh? Maybe we should pay a visit. Sounds good to me. We're back off to the forest of myth, and I'm just gonna ride my hog there. Ah, it's another sunny day in a world that doesn't ever have the sun set. That reminds me. Ugh. Wait, what? A man with a gold necklace? Uh, you know him? <laughs> you bet I do. Goddamn bastard ran off with my wife. Wait a minute. I thought he had a girlfriend. If you find them, bring them back here so I can murder the bastard. Uh, sure, I'll consider that. Um, i listen. Consider do you know where he went? Last I heard, someone saw him in Seafront. Goddamn bastard. I can't even bear to look at my wife anymore. Guess it's back to Seafront for us. Alright, well, that's good. Hey. 
Let's go see from for that other quest, which I might as well pick up when I get there. I'll just take that sh uh, the just take the ferry that's on the northern plates here. Ride the boar. There, who there? The man with the necklace? Oh, I know him. I know him very well. If you get my meaning, Gra. Truth be told, I haven't seen him for almost five years. But I know he's coming back to me. That's a really long time. You don't think, maybe... He promised he'd come back and he will. He was honest and he loved me. Not like that old husband of mine, let me tell you. This man seems to have quite the gift for swindle. Sure seems like it. in seafront so maybe there's other I did just see a thing over here somewhere yeah right there postman oh that guy yeah he was pretty shady I heard he beat it for the north after folks caught wind of his counterfeit goods north as in oh facade? that odd Might be someone else in town that knows where he's at. The man with the necklace. Yeah, sure, I remember him. Heard he took off for the junk heap earlier. Great. Now the junk heap? Maybe he ran into the two brothers. Got time to help me with something? Go on. I need you to buy a kitchen knife from Two Brothers Weaponry and bring it back to me. I'm willing to pay a handsome sum for it. Why not just buy one here in town? Why go to such lengths for a mere household utensil? Absolutely not. The knife must come from the junk heap. I'll pay whatever it takes. Well, if you say so. Thanks. When you bring me the knife, I'll give you the money. Okay. I have been, like, for this one, I'm gonna have to go get some collectibles for this knife. Probably already have all the necessary materials for it. And then it'll be like, oh, it says you gather materials for free. And I'll be like, okay. But then when I tell them, I tell... then again, okay. I have a feeling they'll probably be like, oh, yeah, it was for free, so. Running all over the place. Both of these better give me like 5%. Uh, this. He's paying this, a lot of money for us to go find some old cooking knife. Whether for love of food or fine cutlery, there is little doubt this man is a serious customer. Maybe we could buy a whole bunch of knives for him. Then we'd be rich. If he had 20 arms and could wield a weapon in each one, I am certain he would purchase a great many knives for himself. That would be awesome! Guys, this is a really stupid conversation. Guys. That man simply hops from one woman to the next, does he not? He's been cheating this whole time? That's just terrible. 
Doubtless he will end up suffering at the hands of one of his paramours sooner or later. Oh. This kind of thing just happens with attractive guys. That's awful! What if a man did that to you, Kaine? He'd wake up a little less man than he used <laughs> to be. Change my mind. Cheating is always wrong. Change my mind. Cheating is always wrong. I think the guy that died with their mother is that dude. I think that's the case. Well, granted, that's been five years ago, but still. Hey, can you get a knife? Also, do you know a guy with a golden necklace? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, I got a question for you. Did a guy with a gold necklace come around here maybe five years ago or so? Sure did. Mom used to spend a lot of time with him. Oh no. Don't tell me he's the guy we found with their mom in the junk heap. Sorry, what? Oh, nothing. Never mind. Ah, see, so in case you didn't say that they found their mom dead. We can hardly keep this a secret from all parties, and yet I can't imagine how to begin telling them. Hey, you carry kitchen knives? Sorry, we're out of stock. Don't even have the materials to make one. Are these materials something I could get? Sure. I just need ten titanium alloys. You can get them from some of those stupid robots. Got it. I'll be back. I think I already have them unless I use them to upload. I got that titanium out. Great. Nope. I'll get to work on upload, the knife right upgrade. away. <laughs> there you go. One world famous junk heap kitchen knife. World famous, huh? Vegetable or bone, nothing cuts better. It's based off a design from my father. Your father cooked? Yeah, he did pretty much all the cooking. All mom could do was bake bread. I sure miss those days. <laughs> yeah, back before you became a crazy psychopath. Well, let's just tell the client. Gideon doesn't need to know. Yes, I suppose that would be the wisest course of action. <sighs> I, I, I kind of forgot it. Like, I knew at some point that guy was going to come back at for something or another, and there it was. It's like, oh, yeah, he was. I guess his father liked cooking, too, huh? Sounds like it. I hear lots of men are getting into cooking lately. I bet this guy just wanted a new hobby. Yes, yes. Well, we must be off. He's been dead all along. Poor guy. One could say he received his just reward. Still... He was with the woman he loved again, so I trust his final moments were happy ones. There's nothing happy about dying. I suppose this means the matter will always be a mystery to us. Well, how do you know that? I mean, Vice, that sentiment is nice and all, but remember that he had like three other women. Ah, uh, two. One in our village and one in Seafront. So I want to go about like, oh yes, he was with the woman he loved when he was had a girlfriend, and then ran away to Seafront. Actually, no, he ran away to Forest of Myth, stole a guy's wife. Now, granted, according to her, he didn't. Her first husband didn't love her as much as I guess that guy did, but still, it's wrong. And, uh, and then he ran away from her. They went to Seafront, then he ran away from her to go to the Junk Heaps Brothers. So, yeah, who knows.
Hey, I tracked down your boyfriend. You did? Where is he? I'm sorry to tell you this, but he's dead. We found his body five years ago in the junk heap. <sighs> I had a feeling that might be the case. It's the only thing that could explain him not contacting me for so long. Thanks. I think I can move on with my life now. Here's a little gift for you. <sighs> I appreciate you doing all that legwork for me. Only 15,000. Nine per 90%. If both this quest... Curse these tired old if only this knife quest would also give me like 5%, but ah, eh, that Depicable Man one gave me 3%, so. I swear to God, that, that, I think, in all honesty, I think these are the last two side quests. I honestly don't know, though. Oh, there. I could be entirely wrong. But I'm at least gonna hand this one in, and I probably won't start, I probably won't record the next part, because, spoiler alert, I'm so far ahead in this game, guys, you have no idea. Um probably won't record the next part of near replicant until i can hand in the uh the 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 uh quest for those flower seeds all of our young men joined the city guard so we but with trade be wow you are speaking something entirely different now so we're at 90 percent I highly doubt both of these would be a 5%. Or... I have a feeling this one might be a 2% at least. You really have terrible luck with the ladies. Maybe what you need is a good friend and a strong drink. Damn it all! I finally meet the perfect girl and she's married? How could she do that to me? Um... Here's the knife you wanted. Thank you. Uh, how's Gideon getting along, by the way? You're his father, aren't you? What do you mean? Well, you know, he doesn't have a father and all. I was just wondering if he was doing all right. The lad travels a hard and lonely road, but he seems to be making a decent life for himself. That's good to hear. Is something going on here? No, no, no. Uh, anyway, here's your reward. Yeah, I think it's um, somewhat... I don't know if it's been proven to be true or not. But I think it is... Um... I think that is supposed to be Gideon's father. 20,000. That was only 1%. Cool, 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 cool. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Devla has another quest for us, which I highly doubt she will. This will probably be the end of this part of Let's Play Near Replicant, but let's just see here for ourselves. Oh there. Oh there. Just want to see what it is, at least if she does have one. I highly doubt this mission or this side quest with the flower then we'll get uh she does not have a side quest for us nope okay so yeah i highly doubt that this mission with um this flower is going to give us nine percent so there has to be at least a good two more parts at least or two more side quests at least uh again i hope um 
this one better give you a good amount of uh, of uh, experience as or not experience, but it better give you a a good reward and b a good amount of um of a uh, percentage for. Our, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hi. I didn't know I could get stuff from here. I feel confident the child still lives. Of course she does. Um. Yeah, I hope it gives at least 5%. That thing should give at least 5% of quest completion. Because of just how fucking long this one takes and how fucking RNG it is. Uh, this is one quest I do not ever want to do again. But anyway, guys. That, oh... You know, it'd be a lot easier if I actually, like, you know, had... If all my items carry over, it'd be a lot easier. But but anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this part of Let's Play Near Replicant. In the next part, guys, we shall um, continue on with the story. But again, I'm probably not going to do that until after these flowers die, which they do take a while. But that's actually kind of good because, hey, I'm so far ahead in this game that I can deal with it. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you liked the video, please give that like button a click. Comment down below what you guys like about the video. Didn't like about the video. Let me know what you guys think of... Uh, the Forest of Myths uh, quest line thing. It was very short, um, but it was enjoyable. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it took a while because I, I can't believe I did. It was white or I can't remember what the eyes were, blue or whatever. So, it was whatever the eyes of the girls was. So, yeah. But, yeah. So, yeah. And I guess they changed every single time. So, that was my fault. So, But still, it's quite enjoyable. I actually really like that kind of like a setup in a way. Remind me of the first time we went through it. So, yeah. And as always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to my main channel, too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, the RBG, Kim Kid Twitter are in there, too. Thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time.